Hey everybody, welcome to another Valley Forged. I was going to buy some wood today. Well, let's backtrack a little bit. If you're really into lasers, regardless CO2, D, diode, lasers, anything, I love lasers here. So if you want to learn about lasers, uh, like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And today, as you probably already read, we're talking about where to buy wood. What I noticed is Laser and Learn here said where to get wood for your laser. And this is what I was looking up. I was very interested in it. And she just so happened to be not making videos anymore. I haven't seen another one in nine months. And there were some really great tips in here. So I wanted to kind of pass that on. As, fact, as a matter of fact, I already made an order from what I learned in this video. So I will put it in the description, but I'm pretty much going to go over everything she said. It just so happens to be Thanksgiving weekend here, and I'm sure people are thinking, oh, I want to make all these projects and I get stuff done. Uh, and I had some projects and I needed to get some particular kinds of wood. So I wanted to make a really nice projects, not just, you know, using some Home Depot plywood. I don't know if this is true around where you live, but a lot of the hardwood stores are just gone. And the ones that I did go to were a little more focused on construction. And so it was really hard to get what I wanted for lasers. And many of the places that do sell the right kind of hardwoods, they don't cut it down. So it becomes extremely difficult if you have a small CO2 laser or diode to be able to get that to your right size. And if you're using a saw, you're you're really getting uh, losing a lot through curved when you're cutting it very small. So I do cut mine with the laser when I can, and it's nice having the extension because there's one nice thing about cutting with a laser: you have a very small kerf. You're not losing very much to the saw blade. So if you just happen to have a nice, you know, 40 by 70 with a pass through uh, CO2 laser, 150 watt laser. It, this is the way to go is really just to put your four by eight sheet in there and cut it down. But again, you've got to get it to you. So I digress. Um, some of these online stores just seem like a much, much better way to go for most people with these smaller lasers. So I wanted to pass that on to you. Now, what I was doing is buying a lot of this stuff on Amazon and the prices aren't too bad and the quality is actually pretty good. So that is one way to look at it. And I would, you know, compare the things that you see, Black Friday deals even today. Uh, I actually already bought this particular set and I'm, I'm very happy with it. Now, if you're working with a 5.5 watt or 10 watt diode, getting through an eighth inch hardwood is going to take multiple passes. So it means a lot more time and a lot more chances for things to go wrong. This one is actually eighth inch, but I, the ones I got were quarter inch. And, uh, but even with eighth inch, you know, when you're working with a hardwood, it does become much more difficult. So what I'll do is I'll take a thinner piece of wood and then glue it on MDF when I'm done. It makes it nice to where if you're, say, you're using a maple and a walnut and you want to cut it out and kind of inlay it, you know, it, you could just inlay it onto a piece of MDF or something or another piece of uh, easier to cut wood. So, of course, that's what everybody knows about is Amazon. But what else is out there? I learned about this place called Smoky Hill Designs, and they have a lot of really cool woods that you can look up. A lot of it is 12 by 19, which is a nice size. Now, that may be a little big for people with a diode, but it's not too easy for you to, not too difficult for you to cut that down. But for me, it's really nice because the 12 by 12 and the standard ones that I was getting here on Amazon were just too small. I would like something with a 12 by 17 or something like that. I can make bigger projects. Not only that, they have some crazy patternly stuff here where basically you can get any single colors that you want. So instead of having to paint the wood, it already comes done. So all you got to do is engrave into it whatever you want to do, and you can make some really cool stuff that way. 
They have acrylic too, which, you know, sorry for you with diode lasers, probably not going to be that helpful. But for CO2 users, uh, acrylic is here. They also have some crazy patterns uh, that you can get. So this thing is like already printed one side or both sides with patterns already in the wood. So just use your imagination. And that's one of the most fun things about having a laser is to be able to use your imagination and do things perhaps nobody has ever done before. So if you can get something like this printed on MDF and then make an inlay or whatever you want to do, use your imagination, get crazy. And that's one of the nice things you could do here from Smoky Hill Designs. Another one, Craft Closet. Now, I ordered from them already today. <laughs> As first I learned about them. So over $100, you get free shipping, which is kind of nice. They have some great uh, double-sided nine-piece sample pack. I bought this uh, and some of the other stuff they have. Again, 12 by 19, you're getting nine pieces for $65. So I can do not <laughs> I particularly like to do mix and match inlays with different colors of wood and it just looks gorgeous. So this one had all these different kinds of woods that I wanted to work with and uh so it just made sense. Now they say you get 20% off your first order when you sign up for rewards. I looked at this I couldn't find anywhere where the 20 I still have my balance of 100 here. I see the 200 coins, $5 off discount. I know where could I figure out how to get this 20% off. So I did get the free shipping, but I didn't get the 20% off. But I did sign up for their thing, and uh, we'll see how that goes. They also have just a ton of different things, exotic woods, one of the nice things that they have that I had so much trouble finding is solid wood. Because say you want to make bookmarks or something else or even keychains, but you don't want an MDF core or any kind of plywood. You want an actual solid piece of wood that you can sand the edges and it's not going to fall apart or anything like that. So I was very happy to find some Eighth inch, 16th inch solid woods. Such a huge deal. And I'm very happy that I found this. So very appreciative. They also have some of these crazy colored designs. So I'm gonna I'm looking forward to looking more into this because again. I love lasers because I could do anything with them. Well, you add this to my repertoire, things can get pretty nuts. Because I really just don't enjoy painting. But you think I can't make something amazing with this? <laughs> I can't wait. So first thing, first I got to get through my Christmas presents. And then early next year, we're going to get into some fun. Lasers are so j much fun just so much to do. And having this is going to be just another extension of what I can do. Now, I do like to add gemstones as well to some of the things I make. So this could also be a resource. The next one, laser wood supplies. Now I'll leave a link for each of these uh, in the description. I have no affiliation, literally just found out about them and wanted to pass them on to you. But from what I understand, uh, Laser Wood Supplies, this person is uh, very integrated into the laser community and uh, active on Facebook and will help you out no matter what. Definitely some really cool printed wood here as well. And a good list of hardwoods, blanks, etc. So I would just take a look at each of these and see what makes the best sense for you. And hey, maybe try them all and just see you know, who orders the best, who's sending you the best wood, who's the most honest to what it is they say they're doing. And I would love to get some feedback on that as well. I'm going to order from each of these and I'm going to see how it goes. Uh, I did email pattern. I did email uh, Smoky Hill Designs today because it showed that uh, I could not order 
I was not able to order four by eight cut your way. And so you pretty much had to order the 12 by 19s only. And that's fine. You know, what? for my first order, that would be fine. But I and eventually, I think that you're just going to save a lot of money by being able to cut a full sheet down, which is really cool. But uh, they are too busy right now for the next couple of weeks. So they said this will come back in a few weeks and we'll be able to do that. So I'll probably update you on that once I order from everyone and see how it goes. You know, I did want to mention that when you're first starting with your laser, obviously go to some local uh, lumber place, get the cheap stuff, get, you know, if you can get the eighth inch, quarter inch cheap stuff and just practice. And like I did with my last video, you see I was using the pattern, doing testing with everything, just test, 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 get to know your laser and waste er all everything on the cheap wood making sure that it does circles, it does squares correctly. You don't want to practice all these things on expensive hardwoods. The more that you know about your laser and how it cuts and how it works before you start trying to test and even see what it takes to cut into hardwoods, uh, you're going to be so much better off. But when you're ready, when you're saying, hey, it's time for me to make some amazing projects, you need good wood. I made some of my best projects on really cheap uh, wood from Home Depot, and guess what? After a few years, it just it just doesn't hold up. It you know the ones that I made with the hardwoods are just still perfect. I mean, you wouldn't even be able to tell that I didn't make it yesterday. But a lot of the stuff I made with the Home Depot uh, plywood, even though it looked gorgeous after I oiled it up. A few years later, it just doesn't look that great. And it just doesn't hold up that great. So once you're ready and you really want to make something that lasts, I would highly suggest you go with a nicer wood. And uh, these are some of the places. I'm sure there are so many more. And I hope that people leave some in the description and say, hey, you know, here's some other ones to try. And, you know, I found this about this company and this and uh, hopefully we will, you know, all work together and get the best places that we can. And I'll continue to uh, tell everybody about that. So I appreciate everybody being here. Like, subscribe, and add to the conversation. You know, this is this is for everybody. And I'll see you in the next one.